Oh yeah. Jeez. I don't have a uh, anything on that tells me. I see the totems, but I don't know what they are. You only brought Devour Hope. Are these people showing names? They are. I wonder why Ronaldo just looked at the totem. Hey! I was doing something! Oh, is he going for the save? I don't think he gets it. No, he can't. Wow! Oh. No way. Wow! Very well timed. And corrected. Oh, no, sir. Let me eat some tires real quick. Wow, down to two gens. We got some people doing stuff. Oh, yeah. No hooks. Funny B, what are you laughing at B? Oh, I've been yawning like crazy nonstop. You know yawning pages. I think it just means I'm tired. Oh yeah, the two can be true at the same time. Oh. Remember, you were the one that said you should do shorter streams, shorter, more intimate streams. Keep the people wanting more. 
I said that in like I was the one streaming because if I were to stream like right now or tomorrow if there's no monetary incentive I would only be doing it for fun if I were to stream again I would just want to do it for fun and go like Ots it's literally his job so right he has incentive to go for 12 plus hours does he? Yeah, why not? <coughs> Me, I feel like it would be fun just going for a few. Oh, he got to save. No way. Damn, he's crazy. That's two. Flashbang. <laughs> yep. Flashbang master. I don't mean to lead him there, but I don't want to go down in the basement. Time to stream for 10 hours. Sure, that, that kind of sounds fun. Again, what incentive would I have? Probably three hours tops. It's for me. Yeah, well, I'm doing it to test this cheese and see, you know, it's for a purpose, but I don't know. I'm starting to think more along the lines of like, if there's a bunch of people and they're enjoying it and they're all active, then keep it going but if it dwindles down to nothing i i feel like this stream has been very minimal with viewers i'm not exactly sure why but i think that well we could be shadow banned again but um i think maybe it's because we didn't have text to speech on at all and that's part of what people have a lot of fun with seems that might be a part of it also uh, the inconsistent schedule just one exactly just like again i i in my case i don't have any incentive to stream so why would i need to have a tight schedule this Renato is funny it just takes, like takes the hits out the gate yeah, See those, those saves he got. Pretty cracked, actually. Mm -hmm. I saw the one he got on me. The one he got on me was pretty, pretty insane. Even though it was given to Wait. Oh, you're the game. I am, yep. I've never even messed with the firecrackers and the timing. Loser. Nobody likes. Oh, 
But he says, I don't know how to play this dude. Like the game or the night? I assume he means the night. But this dude night. Prestige one. He has a few like different perks. I don't really know how to play the knight either. I mean, I get the concept of using the knights, the, the guards, to uh, you basically create a scenario where survivors are running from two killers. But I never played them enough to really get the strategy. Have to predict <clears throat> where they are going. Place your night out. And you use the guards to shut down the, the loops and the pallets. Yep. <coughs> now, there's this person I watch who's pretty good at night. Yeah, it's fairly simple once you get that part. <laughs> but the thing is, killers have certain powers right and there are certain ways well you can use them the powers the way they're made but but what you'll find is like the people that have mastered that particular killer there's certain strategies they do and certain things that they don't do like i don't know if this is true but for instance i've heard i've heard like uh clown players say they just never use the yellow bottles now i don't know if that's a good strategy or not it certainly works for some of them like they won't need it so or like with the knight you know instead of sending the guard for this crazy patrol like a lot of people just put the knight down right in the in their one spot to shut down a loop so I guess it takes like, I mean, you watch a couple tutorials on somebody who knows what they're doing and they'll just explain it and then I guess you'll get it. But I just don't play certain killers enough to care. However, it would be good to know so that way when you're on Survivor, you know what the killer's doing and whatever possible counter there might be. I mean, but it's like you said, yeah, it's like you said, hold W, but I don't, I'm trying now not to immediately hold W like I, like I used to do. I try to juice the loop a little bit and the palette or whatever there is there and then wait for them to break it or lose line of sight of me. And then I try to dip to the next and I always try to run in a direction not always, but I, I tend to try to run in a direction that is like where I know is there's nothing over there. There's like no gens or the gens are done. Some place like the killer is probably not going to want to chase me like way out over here while everybody else is on gens over there. And a lot of times the killer will just drop that chase. Not always. But I try to go... away from everything that's yeah, certainly case by case yeah you do watch a, a guide or two at least from the survivor's perspective oh really not that difficult really not in theory it's like you know it's still a player at the end of the day on both roles human error comes in Yeah, but just understanding the concept, like, like for me, I understand the concept of how a nurse plays, but that doesn't mean I'm good at playing survivor against a nurse because it's harder to be on the flip side on the other end and actually try to time the, it just looks different. You see like the nurse and 
third person, you see the, the nurse, whereas when you're in first person, everything feels different. The motion's different, the control is different, timing even feels different. But when you're seeing it in third person as survivor, it's hard to know like how far this blink can go or how quickly it's going to happen or which way to juke. But I think that that just comes with time and experience of doing it. And in that particular case, like I don't see a nurse enough to practice against them. And then if I do get a nurse, you know, chances are I'm going to get down so quickly before I have really even have a chance to adapt to their play style or, you know, chases with a nurse don't last that long. Right. So unless you, I, I think the best way is go into custom matches or I suppose in tournament matches and scrims and all that stuff, like, you know, you play against, against it enough that you learn things.